this is where it's at today. All of the trees that we picked are now cut down and that was due to shade. This is where the garden is gonna go. And we were very selective. We didn't want to remove anything that we shouldn't. We did pick that one, but really looking at the area, I think we saved it just because the sun sets over on that side. So that's the west. And so if it gives any shade, it would be over there towards the fence. And I think it'll be okay to keep it. Um, we didn't want to remove anything that didn't need to go. It's still very sad to see this, but a lot of new things are gonna happen here. So I'm super excited for that. The land gets torn up quite a bit. I mean, this looks pretty bad. They're gonna clean it up tomorrow and finish clearing some of the areas in front of the house. We walk over here where the big magnolia tree or trees were. You see the big area it took? It was just too much land. So we kept the tree, just cleaned it up a bit. There was a lot of baby magnolia trees all around. It was just so much on the ground and I need as much land as I can here for the animals later. Coming over here to the gate, we had a really huge tree right there. It was beautiful, but very rotted and we were afraid of the damage if we didn't take care of it now. So all of this was just breaking apart. And here is where the other magnolia tree and the pine tree were. I think it was a pine. It, it, might, it might have been an oak. Didn't check this one, but it took up a lot of room here and we're gonna utilize this space for the orchard. And we're gonna have a pavilion here on this side. So that tree was gonna be in the way. I was really sad to see this one go, but it also has a hollow area and you can see it from inside. I don't know if you can spot the frog there. <laughs> I think he's a little scared, but it wasn't quite healthy as it should have been. So I think it was a good idea to get rid of it. But in reality, we're trying to work with this shed where the water well is and utilize this area better. So the tree had to go. And tomorrow <laughs> they're going to clean up this area. They started over there and they tapped into a sprinkler so um, they stopped there, but it's gonna be cleared tomorrow. We will leave some trees. There's some crepe myrtles there that we're definitely keeping, but a lot of this brush is gonna go.